Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and I've sold over half a million dollars of t-shirts on Etsy using print on demand. My goal with this channel is to teach you how to do the same thing. An integral part of having an Etsy shop is getting your listings seen by customers so that way they end up buying it. Because if no one finds your gorgeous item for sale, then no one will buy it. So in this video, we're going to go over the basics of what is SEO, why it's important, and then make sure to stay until the end. And I'm going to give you six pro tips on how to do it right. So for starters, we need to understand what is SEO? SEO stands for search engine optimization. So a search engine is just like Google and Etsy works the exact same way. Most customers that come to Etsy already have an idea of what they're looking for. And instead of browsing through the millions of products that are available on Etsy, they actually use the search bar at the top and they type in keywords that they are looking for. So you want to use keywords in your title and your tags to try and come up in these searches if your item matches what they're looking for. So for example, let's say you are looking for a gift for your dad for Father's Day. You could come to Etsy and type in gift for dad, but you're gonna get a really general search result with lots of random different items that may or may not apply to what your dad would actually like. So maybe as you're going through those search results, you see a metal sign and you're like, wow, that could be a really great gift for my dad if it just said something different. Maybe your dad likes to work on cars in the garage all the time. So then maybe you'd type in a more specific keyword like metal sign for dad's garage and then you'd find exactly what you're looking for. So these longer keywords that are all strung together are called long tail keywords. And this is what we want to try and have for our items. That way, the people that are looking for something very specific and your item matches that are finding you instead of just in the general search results like for gift for dad where you may or may not have what they're looking for. There are two things that go into coming up in the search results on Etsy. And the first is called query matching. So if someone types in metal sign gift for dad's garage, then it's going to scan all of the Etsy listings that have those keywords in the title and tags of the listing. And then it's going to see which ones are an exact match for what the customer is looking for. So then the second part comes into play where Etsy has to actually rank those listings to see who should come up first in the results based on how relevant the keywords are, their location and proximity to you, as well as their ability to convert into sales. Today we're going to focus mainly on the query matching and picking the right keywords for your listing since that is the first part that goes into it is when you first list an item you do get a boost in the listings to try and see how it's going to convert and then Etsy decides your rank from there. So picking the right keywords in the beginning can make all the difference. There are four main places in your listing that Etsy looks for the keywords that match someone's query. The first place is your title. So this is the main part that customers first see that describe your item. So you get 140 characters to put as many keywords that you think your actual customers will be searching for in your title. Then you have your 13 tags. So these are 13 unique tags that you get to choose to describe your item or have to describe who might want to buy your item or who it would be a good gift for. Then you also have your category that you put your item into. This is a drop down, so you get to choose from Etsy's pre populated categories that they've already created. And you want to make sure to pick a category that makes sense because some customers do search by the categories on Etsy when they're looking for specific items. The last place is your attributes. So there's options in every listing to describe your item and these do act as an additional tag. So if any of the attributes make sense to help describe your item or would make a great additional tag, then make sure to fill those out as well. But how do you know what keywords to put in your title and your tags to help you get found for specific items? One of the best ways to find keywords 
is to find out what's already working for other sellers. So if you're working in a particular niche, type in a couple different variations of that niche in the different search results that you'd like to come up for and go through the first or second page of these search results and take notes of what keywords people are using in their titles and their tags. And you should see quite a few patterns. Go ahead and copy and paste these long tail keywords into a notes app as you go until you have enough to fill out your full 140 character title and all 13 tags. Later this week, I will be making a video going through exact examples of this and I'll find different niches to find the keywords for. So make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more exact examples of this and I will be releasing that soon. Then lastly, I have six pro tips for you when finding your SEO to make sure that you get found in the search results. Tip number one is to put the most important keywords that you'd like to come up for in the search results at the very beginning of your title and beginning of your tags. This is more heavily weighted in the search results, so don't feel like you need to describe exactly what your item is at the beginning of your title. This could be Mother's Day gift. If you think that's the most important thing to come up for in the search results, then go ahead and put that first. Tip number two is you don't necessarily have to put the words that you're putting on your shirt in your title or your tags at all. You can actually leave this off altogether unless you think someone is really going to be searching for those exact words on the shirt. Your title is a limited space of really valuable real estate. So only be putting keywords here that you think people are really going to be searching and if they found it would really like to buy your item. So that leads us directly into tip number three, which is only using keywords in your title that you think people are actually searching for. Don't just put random filler words that you think someone possibly could search because you don't want to waste this valuable space. So try and put yourself in the shoes of your target customer. Who are they buying this for? What occasion might they be wearing this for? And how are they going to use it? Tip number four is to always check for trademarks. The trademarks need to be checked for any terms put on your item, any terms put in your title, as well as your tags. So all of these do need to be checked. I do have a full video that I'll link down below if you're not familiar how to check for trademarks. I'll also link that up above here and in the description. Tip number five is try to think how you can niche down in your SEO. So if you have an item, think to yourself, is there another category that you think someone might buy this shirt for? So if you have a funny positive quote on a sweatshirt, maybe you think a teacher might like to buy this and wear it to school for their students. So you might put in funny teacher sweatshirt in, even though it doesn't actually say anything about teaching. You want to try and be really intentional for this and don't just put in random things because our goal here is to convert the customers. So only use things that you think would actually convert if someone searched that term and then found your item. But this can be a great way to be found in more search results. Lastly, we have tip number six, which is to use Etsy's predictive text. So if you're looking for what type of SEO to use, start by typing in the keywords that you'd like to use for your SEO into the search bar and Etsy is going to auto populate what someone might search next based on what has most been searched for in the past. And this can be a great way to get an idea of what to put in your title and your tags. If you're wondering if you're doing a good job or not with your SEO, then I am still offering my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls as well as my shop reviews. The link to purchase those are in the description below if you're interested. Again, in our next video, we'll actually find some niches to come up with SEO for, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. And as always, thank you so much for staying until the end and supporting my new little channel, and we'll see you in the next one.